Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back, everyone. We had so much fun in the last two episodes about how important to take care of your spirit, to take care of your inner health, how to make sure that you are all the time a top notch, up beat when it comes to having peace with your own self and this is not easy this is not an easy job however this will take us automatically to one important value that we believe in and you have to believe in which is the human value the human value here is an important aspect that will take us to actually looking after people around us from different religions, from the same religion, also looking after yourself. And this is what we spoke about before. So since we spoke about how to take care of our inner self, our inner health, what is the human value in Islam, how to take care of interacting properly with others, and how Islam is so much against all of these nowadays diseases, bullying, uh, phobia of any kind, stereotyping of any kind. So, hold on a second, wait for me while the intro is being on the go and let's meet afterwards to continue our talk. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So, the human value in Islam. Let me take you guys like plus 1400 years ago. And to be specific, we're talking here about almost 1460 years ago, perhaps. This is the time in the middle of the Arabian Peninsula, and it's a place in nowadays known Saudi Arabia, where people were not so good to each other. They were actually kind, generous, but here we are talking about the close families and tribes. However, when it comes to the cross tribes relationships, it was so much wars, it was so much bloodshed, and there was not actually that much of interaction between one another. In some cases, they trade together, they actually interact in kind of economic way. However, when it comes to their own set of beliefs, we had lots of troubles at that time. Now, they used to kill their little baby girl infants, female infants, of course, that because they believed at that time that this would bring them nothing but shame. They also believed of the importance of having male babies because they will inherit their awesome much money and camels and, and stuff. Islam came actually to completely take off all these hardships were happening to a human over there. There was much slavery at that time with so much bad treatment to slaves. Islam also came to pave the way to clean the mindset of this society and the whole world to eliminate the slavery once and for all. And perhaps some of you would just come and ask me, okay, why do we have verses in the Holy Quran and teachings in the Islam and Muslim Sharia talks about the fact that you own slaves. But if you looked at them with care, with nobility, in the nobleman show here, this is what we encourage you all the time to do. You'll find that it was there because you cannot just come and in one shot eliminate slavery once and for all. It takes steps to happen. Look at modern day life in the United States and the whole world. Slavery was not actually something that's far. It wasn't centuries ago typically almost 170 years ago with legit way in the United States so when these declarations came to eliminate this it came step by step and it was in some states not all other states this is what Islam did but even in a more elevated way the message came to remove these acts of barbarian anti-human things it took them just one by one so that people can be persuaded and can execute not just to go and hide and do what they like. It all started with the fact that worshipping idols is actually against human mental, logical belief. The fact that you are worshipping a stone it's not something that would indicate that you are in a good mental health. So it all started by addressing the mindset of a human being. Is what you're doing right? And accordingly, 
people started to follow the Islam that addresses their mind. They followed actually something that addressed their logic. Wait for me guys, after a short break, we're going to continue our talk about how human is important, how much the value of a human is so much important in Islam, and why you as a person, even if you don't believe in it, you have to consider this as well. So the human value, such an important topic, and this topic actually would take us back to the modern day. Now we have known that Islam came removing idols from the non-Muslims or disbelievers at that time. It took idols from them, it actually took these acts of killing their own uh, female infants when they are young, actually uh, even burying them alive in the sands, and this is not at all something acceptable to our nowadays ration. However, what's happening here, that Islam also came to elevate the human value, even if he or she were not at that time. So that message came for every time, even after 14 plus 100 years. Nowadays, we can see things like bullying, uh, stereotyping happening everywhere around the globe. People are complaining. Even now we can hear terminology like office bullying. We thought before that bullying is something happening to us in high schools, primary schools, etc. But now, bullying is something that exists even to people who are older than this age, who are 30 years old, 40 years old. So how to put an end to this? Racism, for example. Let's just take them one by one with true examples. Islam came picking people according to their talents, not according to their colors, not according to their anything uh, not according to their tribe or family level. So take for example, the prayer that I told you about in the last couple of episodes is the most important act in this religion. Prayer on its own is something that was actually even told about in the bed of death by our Prophet peace be upon him. So imagine that the last two things, he gave a finalized advice about them, giving people just the guidance about them, is the prayer and your own people. So what we do here, what we believe in here, is the fact that prayer is so important. We call it in Arabic, Adhan. So this is a call for prayer. It's the most important thing so that you know it's the time for prayer and you go and pray. Imagine that the first person to perform this act, calling for a prayer, heard by everyone, was a black person. And even when people were actually just questioning this decision, it just because her voice was so adorable. So he told that companion, his voice is sweeter than you. So now we understand that now it's by your capabilities, it's by your skills, by your own strength, not by your race, not by your uh, kind of family level. So if you moved afterwards, you can find that our prophet picked a leader. He has chosen a leader for the army who was just a person joined Islam. So he was a disbeliever, actually fought against the prophet, peace be upon him. But he picked that person who was a disbeliever and recently joined Islam. You can tell, okay, he's just like a, a newbie. He's a person who's a newbie to this place. However, no, he was picked according to his talent. He had this power to lead an army. He had the leadership skills. Now, after this short break, we're going to continue talking about how Islam appreciates the value of a human being and how in Islam, according to the teachings we know, you will be a better person only by your own skills and your own qualifications. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back, everyone. So, now we're talking here about the actual human value. What are these teachings that you are talking about? And 
asking, demanding from each and every Muslim to respect others and to respect one another. If you remember in a previous episode, we spoke about how shedding a blood of a non-Muslim that you are with them in a treaty can be in a more horrible and a harsh manner than demolishing Al-Kaaba or destroying Al-Kaaba. What we need you guys to know is more of these teachings. And why is that? Because this is a set of beliefs that is suitable for every human being anywhere, anytime. The fact that you know that a person can be better by a circle of influence mentioned last episode, uh, the fact that the person should take care of his neighbors, should be uh, like a complete, a complete person with faith only when he's good to his neighbors. All of these teachings will just give you one thing and one thing only that this message is a message for being a better person, being a noble person. What we need you guys to understand with this as a wrap up for this episode is the fact that when you interact with one another, know for a fact that the God created you with a better level than animals and than plants. You are a person who is responsible for this life. You will tell me, are you demeaning animals? I love my pets. You can love them, but you have this belief and this understand that you as a human you're capable of taking care of them so you are in a better position you are in a position whereas you are responsible for taking care of your daughters and sons your offspring in general taking care of those animals and without the human being this life could have never existed so at least now you know by evidence that you are in an elevated position you are in this position where you have to take care of one another and take care of all other creatures around you so if you are taking care of yourself and taking care of one another you should be good to everyone around you you should be good to your colleagues at work to your neighbors to even any person who's passing by if you are taking an uber you have to be better to the uber driver the fact that sometimes you can see that people are taking it easy with stereotyping, taking it easy with racism, and you can see that acts of racism led to even bloodshed of people from the same country. You have seen recently what happened when it comes to horribleness that happened to uh, some citizen from a specific country and he was killed just by an unhuman act of a police officer. The message that we deliver to you here, guys, is that you have to respect others. Regardless, if they are different than you, it doesn't mean that you are in a better position because you are white or you're rich or you are even having a better education. You have to treat others with the fact that they have the same soul they have the same body, they have the same capabilities, and they are breathing the same oxygen. They are living with you in the very same planet that you are living in or living on and using its resources. With this basic belief, you can live happier and others would live happier because they will not see the hardships that we can see happening nowadays. I can't wait to see you in the next episode where we will continue our talk about the human value from another perspective. See you next time and don't forget, likes and shares. See you next time.